What is going on guys? We're starting this video off where I think this is the first time ever with a commentary um, going over some gym clips. This is um, the workout I did Monday. I did some shoulders and some arms and I started off with these, um, you know, rear delt rows. I'm not really sure how to call these. I tried it out for the first time, but I definitely um, like this exercise. Um, I feel like it really warms everything up. I do it very light. Um, so no really heavy weight on this stack, but just going for the contraction, making sure my shoulders are warmed up properly, making sure everything is warmed up. As you can see here, you know, the, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm warming my shoulder and rotator cuffs up. And uh, it's just a very nice exercise. Uh, what I do is I pull through my elbows and keep my um, wrist straight. And that way I really uh, target my rear delts, which I really like. Uh, then I moved on to do some cable side raises obviously both sides so i did that three sets i think of eight reps um this is just a very nice exercise to do for the side um side delts because um you know you have to always grow those as well as the front and the back we always um we always when i train um when i train shoulders i always focus on one compound movement usually like a pressing movement and then i do a, a lot of accessory movement because i feel like with the shoulders um, detail is what makes the shoulders sick and um, I have pretty big shoulders uh, you know going for me so um, I don't really need to put on that much more mass um, I just need it to be more detailed and more muscular when I'm you know um, on, a, on a lower body fat so this is pretty much when I go lower in a body fat um, I want my tri uh, my I don't know why I keep saying triceps I, I want my shoulders to look uh, sick you know so I do a lot of accessory movements then I did um, a super set, a front raise, as you can see here, a little bend in my arms, that way I can um, contract better in my front delt uh, for some reason. You should try it out. I don't really like it with straight arms. Uh, I feel like it doesn't work as well. Um, and I focus, when I do straight arms, it focuses a lot more on the wrist um, because it's a little bit heavier. So um, with this, I can really target it well and I can really feel it well and better than with straight arms. So you wanna, you might wanna try that out. What I also do is make kind of a triangle movement. So um, as you can see here, I'm going with a dumbbell a little bit to the, you know, to the middle of my face. And that way, um, you know, the contraction is a little bit better. So you wanna, might wanna try that out. I superset that with some, um, some shrugs, very light shrugs. Uh, I didn't want to do any heavy stuff yet uh, until I go to the uh, manual therapist on the 27th. As I said before, um, I, I'm not training very heavy. I'm training just to train and to be in the gym, be active and, and still be focused a little bit on, you know, my muscle connection and stuff like that. So I don't lose that while I am a little bit injured. Um, so I did that both the superset three times. Um, I think I did the shrugs like 20 reps and I did the front raises eight reps uh, per side. So that's, you know, 16 reps in total. And uh, just a very nice superset. Uh, with shoulders, I like supersetting. I like drop setting. You can pretty much superset everything. Um, supersetting is just something to, um, you know, up the, the intensity of the workout, I think. Or when you're in like, you have a little time to train, uh, supersets are, are the best to do uh, because, you know, it saves time. It saves rest time. Um, also did some arms. Uh, I think I only recorded this um, one exercise, which is also a superset. I superseted triceps and biceps. Um, I did the pull downs or the tricep extensions, or whatever you want to call them, and I superseted that with the bicep curls with the straight bar. Uh, this is a very nice machine because you can have both um, locked. You can have both, you know, exercises at the same machine at the same time, if that makes sense. So you can superset right away. You don't have to switch anything or, you know, move any of the, the material to, to, do, to do those. Um, three sets, eight to ten repetitions, and moving up in weight each set. Um, and then I, move, I did this exercise. Um, I filmed it another set for some reason. I'm not sure why. I also did the next set, superset was, I think, hammer curls seated. Um, and then with skull crushers uh, for triceps so um skull crushers i sometimes i like and sometimes i don't i'm not really sure sometimes i have some pain in my elbow when i do those um and sometimes it's fine so it, <laughs> it really depends on the day and how i'm feeling and um, if i'm doing the exercise correctly um but sometimes i'm definitely not doing it correctly so that's why i get the elbow pain but um this time it was uh, it was nice and seated hammer curls are just 
you know, one of my favorite exercises of all time, just because hammer curls are always nice. What I do feel like, though, is um, that I need to grow my triceps a lot more because I feel like um, the biceps is kind of taking over and uh, the arm, I want the arm a little bit bigger because my shoulders, you know, oversized. So um, I gotta, gotta uh, grow my triceps if I want to have my arms look bigger. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the commentary, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. There's gonna be another commentary later on in this video and some smoothie recipes. The smoothie of life I'm gonna talk about later today. But yeah, enjoy. What's going on, guys? Good morning. Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, sorry for no upload yesterday. Uh, I recorded a Gymshark haul. Like, I, uh, I opened all kinds of new stuff from Gymshark. But I didn't really like how the video turned out, so I want to redo it. I want to maybe check, uh, go to a camera store today and see how, if I can um, buy some soft box lights. Um, because um, the lighting in this room is super, super bad. That's why I'm always at the window, because it's nice here. But it sucks here, because my room is very dark. And um, yeah, it's just orange lighting. It's just, it doesn't look really that well. So, um... Yeah, that's why I want to redo it. Also, just went to get a haircut yesterday and uh, just came out of the shower. But I'm going to show you guys the shake of life that you guys should... Honestly, I, I made it yesterday. And if you think about it, it's the best shake in existence. Like, you cannot make a better shake than that. So, we're going to go to the store and make that shake. So, get everything to make that shake. Um, and yeah, we'll do this Gymshark opening thing another day. Um, but, yeah. I'm excited. So let's just go to the, the, the store. Then we're gonna go to the gym. All right, uh, let's do my hair because it looks retarded right now. And uh, I'll check in with you guys in a second when we're going to the store. And we're still on this water vibe. So I already drank uh, quite a lot. I have like uh, 750 milliliters left of my first jug of water today. Uh, we'll drink that with lunch. Should be fine. Yeah, the water, man, the grind is real on some peanut butter. I still have to clean up because, you know, my mom really gets upset always when I don't clean up my stuff, you know. <sighs> Living at home. It sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, go to the store and get some stuff. Alright. Yo, 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 I just made lunch, um, right here. <laughs> um, so we don't have any chili sauce anymore, like sweet chili. So I had to go with ketchup, which sucks because I don't really like ketchup that much. And also it has a ton of sugar, which is dumb and bullshit, but it's true. Um, but yeah, we got um, whole grain rice, we got some chicken, and we don't have any vegetables again. That's, uh, I need to work on that. But uh, yeah, let's just enjoy this, and after this I'm gonna show you guys a smoothie of life. That's our pre-workout, I think. It's uh, 120 right now. It's 20 minutes past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I wanna go to the gym at like 3, maybe a little bit earlier if possible, because at like 4.30 uh, I have to be at my friend Mike. Water, almost done, first one, and then I always drink, I make sure, so, so I kinda plan it, you know? Um, so if you have trouble with, you know, getting all the water in because you forget or um, you just are not thirsty and you think about it, I always think about it like this. If I schedule or plan, it sounds really dumb, but if I schedule when I drink water or when I have to finish one bottle, it's much easier for me to do. Uh, so for example, I know that I want to finish one bottle, so one full bottle, so 2.2 liters. I want to finish one bottle before I hit the gym and then when I hit the gym, I fill it up to like half uh, and do my G Fuel or pre-workout, whatever it is, and then um, drink that during the workout. And during the workout, I usually fill it up like water uh, again, and then I'm done. And then I know I have 750 milliliters left, no, a little bit more, uh, 1250 or something, whatever. Whatever I have left, I fill and I drink during the night. So, uh, so for me, it's easier to plan it that way because I don't forget and I have like these targets that I have to meet every single day. So that's what we're doing. So we have to drink this before we go hit the gym, which is at around three. So we have like a long time to drink this. Uh, there's a package on the way right now to my house. Um, and nobody's home. So I'm hoping my mom comes home soon or something, but we'll see. 
Anyways, let's go. I don't have time to wait on this package. It's another Gymshark package. It's the third one in like five days, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, let's just go and uh, we'll do some bench press today again. Um, last time that went pretty well, so work on my form and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna do some foam rolling. We're gonna do some. We'll see what we're gonna do. Not sure yet. Maybe some pull ups or something. We'll see. By the way, a little preview here on some of the new stuff. The pullover, which is absolutely super, super nice. You can already, you can already get this one, by the way. So link is in the description. So you guys know. Hey guys, a little commentary here over these two exercises that are recorded. One is bench press. One is a lateral pull down. Um, I want to uh, talk about again uh, about the bench press. I know I talked about it last video as well. Um, this is only 135 on the bar. I'm really, really focusing on my shoulder, and because I feel like it used to lock out at some point, so I'm I'm playing with you know how I um, how I push, how I press, and how I lay my traps down. I feel like my my traps. Uh, I you know I saw it today. Or I feel I felt it today that my traps under my trap. I would should say on the right side is a lot tighter on uh, the right side than the left side. So this is something I have to work on and I have to, I have to mention to my therapist uh, when I go there. And then um, yeah, hopefully that will be resolved. It will all be resolved at some point in my life. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the day to be finally you know be able to train it again. Uh, and then I did this lateral pull down. I had two sets. Uh, or two exercises for chest, the bench press and some cable flies. And for back, I did this one and some um, reverse flies for the rear deads a little bit. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. But now it's time, as I promised, for the life juice, like the smoothie of life. So all we need is a banana, some protein powder, some creatine, some milk, some oats, and some frozen fruits. That's it. That's a protein smoothie. That's such a good smoothie. First things first, oats. Just do a little layer of oats, not too much. And this should be good. Then we're gonna add some frozen fruits. A good layer, like that. Then we're gonna add the creatine. So one scoop of micronized creatine monohydrate. Like that. We might need a bigger shaker, man. Now, some milk. You know, to smoothen everything up so it's drinkable. Like that, pretty much. And then one scoop of whey protein. So, one scoop. I don't like whey protein on its own with just milk, so. Uh, this is pretty much the only way how I can drink it, so... Alright. So we got a big smoothie. The smoothie of life. It's very thick. Next time, I'm gonna make it more milky. That sounds disgusting. Alright, to finish this video off, we got another package. From the Gymshark family. Let me put on a light for you guys. Uh, okay, that's, that's better. So, the full review will come later. Not sure what this is actually, but it looks like pants. Yep. Very long pants. These look long as hell. Oh, this. Uh, these came with um, some other sweats. All right. So that's it for the video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I always say this. I don't know how else to outro this video, so whatever. Uh, Gym Truck League will always be in the description, as I said before. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you are enjoying the videos and if you are new please subscribe and uh, see you guys later. Deuces.